is a sequel to a 28 year old movie still a sequel come join me as we talk about twisters we got something big let's ride Twisters, rated PG-13. Yes, I got to see Twisters last night in a preview. Uh, full disclosure, I saw it on a free ticket. Compliments of Comcast, who owns Universal Studios, uh, which is one of the two studios that produced this movie. So I got it for free. Just want to let you know that so you don't think my review is influenced. And I think after you hear it, you may not. I remember when Twister came out in 1996 and I saw it in the theater and I took the family and this movie actually inspired my daughter to become a meteorologist. So I brought her along and paid for her ticket and we saw it together in a fairly crowded theater. So that alone probably tells you there's good anticipation for it. The fact I saw it on a free ticket tells me the studio is worried about how this is going to turn out. I love the original Twister. I've got it on DVD. I quote it incessantly uh, in conversation. uh, And it drives people crazy, but that's a lot of it. I know this movie. Uh, I adore Helen Hunt. (laughs) She's my celebrity crush. Uh, So that gives you the kind of background on it. Now, this movie is set, yeah, present day in 2024. Um, and it stars, let me go to my star list, we got Daisy Edgar Jones playing the character of Kate Carter. Um, she is the Joe Harding of this movie. In fact, she wore a lot of the same outfits that Joe Harding wore in the original Twister. Uh, Glenn Powell is her adversary. He's a storm chaser, uh, a celebrity storm chaser and does YouTube videos and that's a lot of his background. He's kind of in it for the money. And my daughter said, yeah, they modeled his character after the storm chaser known as Reed Timmer. So she kind of knew that, uh, which was helpful. Uh, so we've got that. And then the other major player is, is Anthony Ramos. He plays Javi, uh, a friend of Kate Carter. Um, we find out some not so good things about him later in the movie, but Uh, The basic background is uh, Kate and Javi and three of their friends are doing a science experiment in an attempt to dissipate tornadoes. And so they go out and they hunt a tornado and they release the device um, and it ends up being a disaster. Uh, The three friends die as part of this. So that sets Kate Carter on her quest to quest guilt trip, if you would. Um, There's also in that scene a shout out to the original movie. I won't tell you what it is, but you will see it. And if you've seen the original, you'll know it fairly quickly. Um, So we've got that going. Uh, Five years later, we flash forward. Javi comes and meets up with Kate, who's now working for the National Weather Service out of New York City, and Avi had completed college and went to the Army, and he got a hold of a device uh, with the Army's blessing that actually measures tornadoes, so he convinces Kate to come back out into the field for purposes of storm chasing because she can sense tornadoes like uh, Bill Paxton could in the original movie. Um, So that's kind of the setup of the premise. We have a lot of conflict, and we also have a lot of scenes that were variations of the original movie. It's almost as if the production company took the original script, tore the binder off of it, threw all the papers into the air, and then gathered them all up in whatever order they fell in. So we, we have a lot of that. There's a lot of repetitive dialogue from the original movie. Uh, there's a lot of modifications of similar scenes in the orig- from the original movie. You know, there was a scene 
where in the original movie where they were at the drive-in, tornado comes in, and they're hiding in a pit in a auto repair shop. This movie, they're at a rodeo, tornado comes in, and they're hiding in the bottom of an empty swimming pool. And, you know, same type of thing. Uh, there's a movie theater scene in there, similar to the movie theater scene uh, in there, different film. This film was Frankenstein in the new movie, uh, as opposed to The Shining in the original. Uh, so that's a lot of it. It seemed nostalgic to me in that way. It seemed to be a just a redo of the original movie. And when the director was asked if this is a sequel, Lee Isaac Chung said he's referred to this as a standalone sequel. What the heck does that mean? Uh, so, you know, none of the original characters that are still alive uh, appeared in this appears in this movie. So if you, I was kind of hoping to see that they would have dug somebody up in a in a small cameo, but they didn't. Um, I know I'm looking at the other screen because I'm admiring my beauty. Um, so that's the general gist of the movie. Um, I went in with very low expectations because I'm not a fan of Glenn Powell. Uh, as in, I don't know him personally, but I'm not a fan of him and the characters he played. Uh, the only other thing I recall seeing him in was he was in Top Gun Maverick, and I just didn't like his character in that one. And you know, when I saw him in the trailers for this, it's like, oh God. Yeah, this again, but the swagger wasn't as offensive as it was in Maverick, uh, so that was a plus there. How do I rate this? I give this 5 out of 10 stars. Um, it's okay. Uh, you may find it enjoyable, um, especially, I, don't, I think the problem is I had a, have a prejudice uh, from the original Twister, and... I, like I said, I love that movie, and I quote it incessantly. So that's that's why I give it the rating I give it because it was to me it was repetitive from the first movie, and I really don't like when sequels are basically a rehash of the first movie. So that's my short review of Twisters. It is now in theaters um, officially on Friday the nineteenth of July, but. There's been previews because I think they're trying to get word of mouth out. Um, again, if it was my money, I'd seen it on a preview um, for free, kind of soften the blow of this one. Uh, so, you know, tell me what you think when you go see it. Uh, write something for write something in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and get your thoughts on this. Am I all wet? Uh, like in a big rainstorm from a tornado. You know, just what do you all think? Let me know. And remember, like, share, and subscribe. If you've made it that far in the video, that helps me because the longer view time in a video I get, the better visibility I get. And that's what I'm kind of looking for right now. So I can get some visibility so I can uh, get this message out to everybody. Um, enjoying retirement. That's all I have to say. So until next time, keep watching.